Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only because we keep it to a very, very small group. Today, I'm excited with Peter Awad, who founded Import Auto Performance, which he has grown into a seven-figure business, IAP Direct, IAP Direct has been selling car parts online for over 15 years. Peter looks young, but yeah, 15 years. He also is the co-founder of Mission Meats that sells grass-fed beef sticks and bars, and they even donate a portion of the profits to charity. If that wasn't enough, he runs the Slow Hustle podcast, which we're going to talk about, and he showcases the massive roller coaster that is entrepreneurship, and he manages to do all this with four kids. Peter, thanks for joining me. Hey, man. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. I want to know about a, a low moment and how you push through and then a proud moment, you know, because there's those peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say a low moment for me um, was around the real estate, you know, meltdown. You know, I was, at, I was in Florida. We had just recently moved to Iowa. I had a bunch of property down there, and I mm. lost a ton of money. I mean, like a ridiculous amount of money. Um, being in the automotive space, I mean, it's a, to me, it's, it's all luxury, right? Like nobody needs to spend the I money see. that they're spending on this product. So company tanks, um, I've lost all like a, probably my entire life savings in real estate. I'm, I'm like, I'm broken, you know? And in that, I learned so much about where I was placing my value. Right? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was placing my value in all of these material and external things. I was placing my value in my, in my success monetarily when really none of that stuff even mattered. Right? And so I, I had a ton of personal growth then at the same time as when we started tithing actually um, when we were completely broke. Wow. And so to That's me, I'm like, so I interesting. To, I'm like, I need to be, I need to be a, a good steward with my money now. Hmm. Right? Because then when I, when I, when I recover it'll be a lot easier, right? So the same thing I talked about in the beginning of like setting the mission in the beginning. We're like, dude, we are completely broken now. My tithe is going to be minuscule and obscure and ridiculous now, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. And that's when I started doing that, man. And, and a lot of things turned around since then, right? And so I would say that's a low moment. Um, what made you do that, though? That, that's completely counterintuitive, right? Because <laughs> you, have, you have nothing, right? And then you decide to give. Yeah, well, the thing is, is like if you look at the data, the more people make, the less they give, percentage-wise, right? Really? Okay. Uh, yeah, because it just it feels more difficult. The money becomes really substantial, right? And so, like to me, it was like if I can set the discipline in place now, then when the money becomes really substantial, I don't give a crap, right? Because I've already had that discipline. I've re I'm already used to it. I'm gonna share in the bounty. Like if I'm making more money, I'm giving more money, and so. Um, you know, that, man, I mean, that is, it's biblical. It's, you know, it's, it's um, through some of the advisors that I was talking about and mentors I was talking, talking yeah. to, um, I should say, then um, all aided in to um, beginning that discipline, right? Yeah. So I would call that a low moment and a high moment at the same time, as weird as that sounds, yeah. um, because there's so much growth that happened then. Um, and so to keep that in mind when you're having a really hard time is where a lot of that growth happens is when you are stretched to the limits, um, and so I, I, I would call that, you know, both the low and the high. You asked me another question, though, I yeah. forgot. No, I was saying the proudest business achievement so far for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, the proudest business achievement. It's funny, man. I'm going to keep it really... We're going to uh, oh, turn the slow to the hustle right now. So yeah, I want the hustle yeah. side of things. Yeah, yeah. And, th and that's what you asked about, too, about slow hustle. Yeah. I'll talk about that in a second. So, um, you know, you know what's proudest for me, man? This is really going to be really super cheesy. Um I got a wife. I have four kids, right? It's like a big family. Yeah. And I look when I look when I sit and I look around I'm like the the ideas that cooked in my brain materialize this, right? They materialize. I mean, my wife and I materialize as human beings, right? With God's help. We we have a home, we have food, we have a we have a very comfortable life and it's like the ideas 
something that was in my head right, that became yeah. that became ones and zeros programmatically, and it turned into this. Like it just materialized. Right. That Creating to me, something out of nothing type of thing. It's yeah. to me, it's yeah. complete magic. Yeah, yeah. That's entrepreneurship, right? Yes, it is. So fast, hu- you d- make the distinction slow hustle, right? Yeah. So yep. talk about fast hustle versus slow hustle. Yeah, to me, fast hustle is just straight hustle, right? And so I had a friend of mine um, that we were talking about the slow hustle band, and he's laughing. He's like, just print me one. He's like, give me a custom one that just says hustle on both sides. Because that's the, the <laughs> fast hustle is just hustle, right? Like, that's just right. hustle your face off, hustle all the time, hustle, 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 right? And, and right. here's the thing. There's so many reasons why you don't want to do that, okay? You can do that for a, for a period of time, and then you're going to burn out. You're going to do that for a period of time, and it could be 10, could be 20 years. And you're going to look back, and you're going to be like, look at all of my you know, physical achievements, look at all my monetary achievements, look at all the things that I've done, and look at all the, the people I left in my wake, yeah. right? You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to see your kids grow up. Right. You're going to become, you know, I was talking to somebody or, or yesterday or Tuesday about this. You, this is when people say, I grew apart from my spouse. No, you don't grow apart. That doesn't happen, right? You are very intentional about growing apart. It's because you didn't put any time into it. So like, that, like that, those are the people that you leave in your wake, right? That's the fast hustle. It's just hustle your face off. All day long, every day, right? To me, the slow hustle is being very intentional about what's most important in your life, yeah. about how you spend your time, about keeping your priorities straight. But at the same time, it's making space, right? right? You need boredom, right, to have creativity and to have, you know, to, to, to elevate yeah. the way that you think. You need space to, 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 to have good ideas, right? So I always make this example. I always give this example. Your good ideas happen when? When you're grinding behind the computer? No. Never. Yeah, when you're relaxing or in the shower or on vacation. When you're in the shower, when you're on vacation, when you're on the toilet. I mean, that's where the ideas happen. Why? Because you're slow. You have space. And so slow hustle is about living a life that's worth living, keeping your priorities straight. I'll give you another example of how you do that in in a second. But, man, I mean, with the slow hustle, I think you can be even more successful, Right? Personally, right? You can be a personal success with your friends and your family and yourself, right? But then you can be a, 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 a larger business success because you've given your space. You've given yourself space to think creatively, right? To rise above your problems and to think more creative and have some creative, you know, better solutions. Out of the box, if you want to call it that, I hate that phrase, but out of the box solutions, right? Okay, so here's the other thing. This is, this is one very, very weird, morbid way that I have slowness in my life and keep my priorities straight. Yeah. There is a, and I, I, I tell this on every interview, there, there's, there is a, uh, a practice called negative visualization. Um, it's uh, kind of a stoic philosophy, right? And it's a way for you, and I might have shared this with you when I talked to you, Jeremy. Um, it's a way for you to visualize very bad things happen in your life. So for me, an example would be one of my kids get cancer get hit by a car, right. I get cancer, my wife gets cancer, she dies suddenly. Right. I think all those things, not to bring myself down, but to give myself perspective and to think, right. you know what, if I start my day that way, no matter what problem I have today, yeah. no, ma- no matter what issue I have, I will know it doesn't mean jack. Right. It is not important. Does it suck? Sure. Is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Because if one of those bad things happened to me, right. I would say, you know what? I would rather have ten times the problems I had today, and not ha- and have this 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 cancer or this issue go away, yeah. right? And if that's the case, anything that I encounter today doesn't mean squat. Yeah, it really gives perspective. Yeah. So throw your positive visualization out the window. Go with negative visualization. <laughs> <laughs> not every day. You don't have to do it every day, but, but just in the morning. You know. Just in the morning. No, but, I like but, that. It really does give yeah. perspective on what's important. Peter, I can go on for another couple hours. I know you have a bunch of meetings. <laughs> Everyone should check out missionmeets.co.co, slowhustle.com. Peter, it's been great. Thank you so much. Jeremy, it's been awesome, man. Thanks, dude. Take it easy.